What's up, Warriors? Welcome back to Warrior Nation News. I'm Johnny. And I'm Dylan. We hope you all had a great first quarter. The second quarter is in full swing, and National Junior Honor Society induction was a perfect way to start it off. 39 7th and 8th graders were inducted last week. Here's Lexi with more. Some of our students recently got inducted into National Junior Honor Society. We caught up with a few of them to see what they think. So, Michael, what does it mean to you to be inducted? Well, Johnny, I think it's a real honor to be inducted into NJHS because I'm excited to be uh, a representative of 7th grade and how we get to represent um, all the 7th graders who have achieved high standards in their academic career. So, Ava Drew, how do you feel about being inducted? Uh, I would say it's definitely a real honor. I'm super excited to be a part of NJHS and like all our service projects, and I'm just super excited. What are you most looking forward to during your time in NJHS? I'm looking forward to being able to help and serve all others in our community. How does it feel to be selected for NJHS? It's a big blessing. I'm really excited and I'm really blessed that I got to keep all my grades up for this and I'm excited for all the fun service projects we get to do. So what are you looking forward to about NJHS? Well, first, I'm really excited for the service projects, and I think we have a good opportunity to just get out there and just serve others. Our cross-country team just finished an amazing season with a district win. Isaac sat down with some of our amazing runners. Our boys and girls cross-country team just won district. They competed at Southwest Christian in Fort Worth on a two-mile course. Nolan finished first overall for the boys, and Charlotte finished second overall for the girls. So Nolan, how does it feel to be the new district champion? Um, it feels good to see my uh, work pay off and the time that I get and all my teammates that also got good times and uh, did good throughout the season. So Charlotte, how did it feel to not only break the 7th grade record but the 8th grade record too? It felt really good to just like see all the hard work at practice and having to wake up early, all that paying off and I really I'm proud of myself of how I ended the season. And Nolan, we know the course and the competition was very stiff. Were you nervous at all? Um, I'm always nervous before any any activity I do, but it's our team helped me and pacing off all the people and like Sawyer and Jacob, they helped me a lot. And Charlotte, we know the rolling hills were pretty tough in the course. How did you handle those challenges? I just did my best to stay pace-wise with um, my teammate Camille and use some like stepping stones to help push and keep going. Thank you. I'm Isaac with Warrior Nation News. Thanks, Isaac. Fall sports have officially come to an end, and winter sports are getting started. Let's go to Ella and Lexi for more on sports. Navy Volleyball had their last game of the season on Monday against All Saints and they won. With only losing one game all season, they tied with Prestonwood for first place in district. Way to go, girls. Navy football ended their season this week with two more wins. They beat Southwest Christian on Monday and All Saints on Thursday. They managed to remain undefeated all season. Congratulations, football. As fall sports wrapped up this week, winter sports are just beginning. Basketball tryouts will wrap up today for the girls and the boys have tryouts next week. Wrestling, soccer, and swimming are also beginning their practices. Our varsity basketball team has a home game next Tuesday at 1 p.m. And middle schoolers are in invited to come cheer them on if your teacher says it's okay. That's all for sports. I'm Lexi. And I'm Ella. Now back to you at the desk. Thanks, Lexi and Ella. Dylan, I heard there's a pep rally today. Yep, Johnny. Today we have the Black Light Pep Rally. If you're new here, this is when all the lights go out and it's glow-in-the-dark neon. This all leads up to the varsity football playing All Saints tonight at All Saints. This will be one of the toughest competitors we have faced so far this season. Go out and support if you can. It's going to be a great game. This month, we're taking a closer look to see what it means to strive for excellence in everything we do. Here's Georgia and Jaden with this month's Warrior Way. Hey, Warriors. Every month, we focus on a new pillar of the Warrior Way. This month, we talk about what it means to strive for excellence. We chose a few people that do that really well. We chose Cade out of the entire sixth grade class because he always does the right thing even when no one's watching. Cade, why is it important to strive for excellence? I think it's important to strive for excellence because God calls us to do so and God calls us to serve others. We picked Ava Drew out of the entire seventh grade because she strives for excellence in everything that she does and in the eyes of the Lord. She brings the word around everywhere that she goes. Ava Drew, why is it important for you to show your excellence around the school? 
Well, first of all, I want to do everything for God and for God alone, and I want to be able to be a light for others. We chose Gabby out of all the eighth graders because she strives for excellence in everyday life. Gabby carries herself well and gives her best effort every time. Gabby, why is it important for you to strive for excellence? Um, it's important for me to strive for excellence because I feel like if you're going to do something, you have to do it well and you have to like give it your all. Even if it's something small, you always want to do your best with anything. Like my dad has a saying, it's like pretend you want to do well. We chose Miss McGrath of all the middle school teachers because we believe she strives for excellence in teaching and in life. Ms. McGraw, why is it important to strive for excellence as a follower of Christ? I want to glorify Him. I want to live for Him and glorify Him. And the Bible says, whatever you do, you work it up with all your heart as working for the Lord, and not for men. And remember, we strive for excellence in all things to bring glory to God. That's just one part of what it means to be a warrior. I'm Georgia. And I'm Jaden with Warrior Nation News. We all know we have some amazing admin in middle school. We talked to Coach Stone and Miss Courtney to find out an interesting fact about them you might be surprised to learn. What is an interesting fact about you that most people don't know? I am scared to death of frogs. Really? And why exactly? Because when I was a child, I was at a water park and I jumped into one of those giant ball pits. And as soon as I hit that pit, little frogs jumped all over me and my buddy. And since that day, he and I both have been scared of frogs. Wow. Miss Courtney, what is one fun fact that nobody knows about you? When I was in elementary school, I told everyone that I was allergic to the color pink and people would chase me around with the color pink and I would run as fast as I could. How did you manage the last pink out game last week? You know, thankfully I've recovered and it actually is one of my favorite games because I loved everyone in pink. So we've, we've come a long way. <laughs> wow, I didn't even know Coach Stone was scared of frogs. Well, now I know how to prank him. Yeah, our admin are pretty cool. Some of, them, some of them even went on the middle school history trip. Oh yeah, seventh and eighth graders got to go to an amazing trip to Philadelphia, New York, and Boston. Here's Elizabeth with more on that. Hey Warriors, some of your seventh and eighth graders just got back from the history trip. I was on it and it was so much fun, but we caught up with some of the others to see how it went. Sophia, what was the most interesting thing that you did on the history trip? I think the coolest thing that we did was we went to the 9-11 Museum and Memorial, which was really impactful. It still had the foundation of the Twin Towers, and I think it really gives you a different outlook on life, how those people, like some people, really sacrificed their lives so that more people could live, and I think that really shows you how God's love is truly everywhere. Brocker, what is something you found interesting on a history trip? Uh, I found that George Washington actually slept uh, in a tent with all his soldiers, and it just kind of explains like God is on the front line when we're fighting Satan. Why is it important for our students to get these experiences? I'm a hands-on learner, and I think a lot of our students are. And to be able to go and to stand and experience history as it, it was there. I mean, you're in the place. Like we were standing in Lexington Green where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. And so it was very powerful. And it had an impact on our students, and it had an impact on me and all of our leaders. And so to be able to go and not just to see it, but to experience the history firsthand, it helps. It's not just something that happened in our past, but it can affect us in our now and in our future as well. Thanks, y'all. My personal favorite part was Gettysburg or 9-11 Museum because it was so cool to see our country came together even after that huge tragedy. I'm Elizabeth Goodlett with Warrior Nation News. Thanks, E. That's all for this edition of Warrior Nation News. I'm Dylan. And I'm Johnny. See you, See you next time, time, Warriors. Warriors.